Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Hasban Allah wa Niwa Wakil, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. It's Monday, it's wet. And I told you that uh, we're marking time to the first anniversary of Johnny's Bite. One year, when we started, I had some people say, oh, he can't sustain it. People in government, oh, no, no, no. The issues keep coming up, and we keep talking about the issues. And by the grace of God, we have stayed on track. We don't insult. We only raise the questions and the issues. If you have answers to the issues we have raised, come to it. And let, let them know that the hashtag is on. Let the retirees go. Uh, I had a call from my good brother the other day about something I had mentioned, and he said I should give him the details. They'll work at it behind closed. I'll finish him with the full details today. But so far, let the retirees go is achieving its purpose. And I hopefully, I know that the young, a lot of young people will get work to do. It is important that we get young people to work. And if you are a retiree, don't wait for me to get to you. Because now I'm taking my time with the immigration service. Don't let me get to your institution. Because if I get to your institution, I may not be as charitable as I've been with the immigration service. I will cross and show your photo and other things. So don't, don't let me get there. If you're a retiree, please go. Let the retirees go. Hashtag, let the retirees go. Let the retirees go. Now, we've spoken about the beautiful event that happened, the Global Citizen, I mean, top-notch production by all standards. Very, very beautiful. I started seeing the set about two or so weeks ago, and I was wondering what was happening. But then we got to realize that this is what they were actually preparing for, and it, they were showing working, no long talk. So congratulations to everybody who worked on it on the local uh, level, on international level. We salute you. We appreciate it. I hope that the central theme of poverty eradication, of climate change, and, and all of those things stay with us and we work towards it. Because if you take a look at how our rivers are looking, are, 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 are looking now, it's, it's a sad story. It's a very, very sad story. But you see, Danny, take me back to the Independence Square and play the president's video for me and how the citizens, not the spectators, the citizens reacted to what the president had said. Good morning, Mr. President. Last Saturday, I felt very, very sad for you and very, very disappointed in myself. These are the young people who you asked to submit at a, such a, a global event, diplomatic call, everybody streaming live globally. You are telling the people that the whole world is in Ghana and your people are hooting at you. Boo. This is not the boo like, you are my boo, I'm your bill. This is proper boo. Boo, away. And when we're in secondary school, Mr. President, if somebody comes on stage as a rapper, look. Turn soft. Turn soft. Away. When I was in secondary school, when you come and perform as a rapper, dancer, singer, and, and your performance is not um, what the people expect, they start clapping. <laughs> Away. Everybody who went to secondary school knows it. Maybe in your time, Mr. President, it was not done. But Mr. President, if you are taking time to listen, because when you came, you saw there were some ladies to the left, they were shouting, I do showman, I do pre boy, I do guy guy. They were giving you fans. The regular sickle fans. 
who are not able to tell you that today, today, today in your country, your minimum wage is less than 14 cities, but the price of a loaf of bread is almost 20 cities, so some 20, some 25 cities. So that even if you work the whole day on a minimum wage, you can't afford a loaf of bread for your family for the whole week. But if you work elsewhere, in New York, where they were having that simultaneous celebration, if you work for an hour, you possibly could buy two or three loaves of bread. I have said before that intelligence gathering is here. It's not macho. So those overfed and over, uh, oversized suit wearing, dirty jeans, uh, uh, gota bearing, and side arm bearing people who drive around town sometimes recklessly in the V8s and, and harass everybody and call themselves national security, please put them aside and use the proper national security people. Because if there was proper intelligence gathering, this global shame would not have befallen you. Water is up, electricity is up, LPG is up, transport fares are up. Somebody even made a joke that the people actually wanted to repeat the Osei Chimesa Bonsu experience on you by pelting water. I don't support that. But they realized that a, a sachet of water now costs 50 pesos. If they pelt two as you, that's one CD. So they will not waste their money. The reality on the ground, I say the people around you this morning, they will give you security briefing and tell you that all is well. Today we are meeting the IMF. Fitch has downgraded us again into deeper junk status. The reality on the ground is not good. And perhaps if you had listened small, Mr. President, to us. You see, I told you, Mr. President, it is time to speak to your people. I say, speak to your people. When this matter started and you started saying that, oh, it's Russia, Ukraine. I say, Mr. President, organize one fellow Ghanaians and speak to the people. You see, when you refuse to speak to the people, the people speak to you. And that was what the, the message they were giving you. That is the reality. There was Stoneboy, there was Sarko, there was Jackie. In Nijaba, but they were booing at you and they say, ho, oh, oh, away. It's a wake up call, Mr. President. When the people are not happy with your ministers and you come and tell them that your ministers are the most excellent ministers you have worked with, they will have a problem. When people want to demonstrate and use the police and the courts to frustrate them, they will demonstrate to you openly like that when your visitors have come. When people ask for roads and you keep sloganeering, telling them a year of roads, another year of roads, and they, they, they will do this to you. When food is so expensive and you have people telling that, oh, because of planting for food and job, food is cheap, it's available, go and buy it. But it they will yell at you. If you're a businessman, a poultry farmer, and, and, and you can't afford your feed and you have shut down your poultry farm, they will yell at you. Your CD is now a fugitive. After we were told that they had been arrested and the keys had been given to IGP P2, the city is now a fugitive. The people will yell at you because the, 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 the rates keep changing. Yesterday, I was speaking to a market woman uh, who, whose uh, husband's ceremony I had gone to. And she said she sent her daughter to go and buy something day one, day two, day three. Throughout the five days, the prices of the commodities increased. Adding. And you are not even showing remorse. When you tell the people in this state of their pain that cathedral after using the people's money illegally, the people will boo at you. Mr. President, all is not well. Ghanaians are very loving people, very disciplined. Elsewhere it could have been, it could have been worse. And I don't support violence of any form. But I'm saying that this should be a wake-up call to you, Mr. President. The level of arrogance around you, the people around, the level of arrogance around you, some of them have to go. You have to lose them. The, the, the tallest of special assistants who are drawing from our monies and still talking about them, you have to let them go. The insatiable appetite of giving retirees contract and contract extensions. People are 64, 65. The, the threshold, Article 199, says that up to five years. Your people have gone 65. You are still giving them two years contract extension. Young people cannot find jobs to do. I'm sure within that crowd, you had NAPCO beneficiaries there. Within that crowd, you had youth in afforestation. Within that crowd, you had nurses on rotation who had worked for a full year had not been paid. 
with in, within that same space, you had people whose monies are locked in the financial sector, the, play, the banks that were collapsed, they have not been able to access their funds. They were part of it. Music unites us. Look, the Black Stars had been scored three by Brazil, embarrassed as well. Usually we would have spoken about football. And would have complained, the day are you, why was he in, hey, Jordan are you? We were not talking about them. The people were busy booing at you at, at an event center where they were supposed to be enjoying. And you don't, if you don't know, Mr. President, the booing started from the back. You see where the 1957 emolument is? That's where it started from. The ghetto boys, they started the boo and, and, and the middle class picked it and brought it to you. Boo, oh. So this should be a wake-up call, Mr. President. All is not well. I keep telling you, the people who write your script, the people who have your ears, the people around you, most of them are just there because of what they can get. They are just sick of fans and book litter. They are just there to get what they want. They are not telling you the truth. And when you told us to be citizens and not spectators, you expected us to speak up. Now when you speak up, it's a problem. They put you in party political clothing. You see the goodwill that you had in 2016, Mr. President. You won an election by a landslide. Never happened before. 2020, the results showed you that that goodwill has dropped. Now you're talking breaking the eight, and people are now booing at you publicly when the diplomatic core is there. International community is there. This is streaming live. Hey! Not good. Not good, not good, not good. And yet, and your man, you're a cra. Oh, my, no, from Basabasa, Basabasa, Basabasa.